August 2016. A once print, then video, now nothing magazine commissions a profile. That's what they were calling films in the beginning of that slow pivot to, well, you get it. Their words, not mine. The subject of the profile is in her early 20s. The subject is a musician. The subject is about to release her first song on the eve of her first arena show. Her big reveal. The subject. The label assures the magazine. The magazine assures me. I assure you. Is a sure thing. She is secret. She is new. And for the entirety of my week spent chasing her down, she is missing. Nick. Rob's asked I keep you updated because the quote, aggressive schedule, unquote. So, here I am. I told him I wasn't worried. Think we'll be pushing it to hit time, but seeing you do more with less. We just landed. Five hours, JFK to LA. 11 hours, LA to Narita. I took an edible in the lounge before boarding. Hate to be that guy, but 16 hours is 16 hours. She flipped the dates on us last minute, so they had to spring for business class. Expensive, I think. Reminds me, they're paying out, so get your full rate. This isn't a favor one like last time. Just the three of us from US. Me, Frank, Rob, and then our fixer, Mimi. Where's the car? <laughs> Lives here. Six days. Four in Tokyo, two in Seoul, all TBD for her schedule, of course. Throwing proxies on the server as we go. Magazine made you a login. Extreme heads up. Label and magazine both keeping an eye on the folder, so don't talk shit in the comments, please. Bosses have bosses. Big media conglomerate. Figure you'll edit as we shoot. Three minutes, 19 seconds is our goal per the magazine. Some theory about the platform. No script, obviously. But I know you aren't trying to be left with a pile of stuff. I'll provide the play-by-play. -play. Shooting her tomorrow. Sleep now. How's the edit? <laughs> Nick. Jet lag. Been a while since I traveled. Couldn't sleep. Up late and early here in the future. Got the bad news overnight. Email from her manager. He says, welcome to Japan. Hopes we had a great flight. Says she's excited to meet us. That she's excited for the film we're making together. She has a conflict tonight though, unfortunately, he says. Send your interview questions along when you get a chance. Updated schedules attached. Hmm. The faint whisper of evasion. Rob is worried. I'm not. I like an email like this. It's comforting to recognize something, anything, even a motive, is far from home. <laughs> Frank is relieved. The cameraman is tired and doesn't like shooting anyway. We soaked around the neighborhood for a bit. Got something to eat. The three of us fill out a spectrum of concern. The boys are grumpy. Not looking for a fight a day in. Sent the questions to the manager. Panicked and copied the most basic prompts. Reached for a big question, but nothing. Embarrassing. Rob, maybe worried off the bland questions, asked me for my vision. I closed my eyes, and I could almost see it way out there. 20 shots of cars for you to push around. 
That's right. Burn today on B-roll. All for you. Magazine is up to run time to six minutes. Switching platforms and guests they're hoping to trigger an ad. Not asking for a virtual edit tomorrow or anything, but I can feel a, when can we see a rough in the wind? Here's what I'm thinking. Open on the city. Maybe night cityscape. Hear a voice. Make your way down to the city. Use bits of the interview I swear we're shooting. Three, connection through music. Music binds us together, whatever. Then something about ambition. Tease the concert, but only a tease. You know that drill. And then, and then, well, you know, studio hopefully. Something about expression tied to the city, the connection, the people. Throw it to the concert, and well, you're always better with finales. Credits? Need a designer. Make your name huge. Another heads up, record label acting funny about the server, talking data security and IPs. Magazine's dealing with it. Think the jet lag's making me paranoid, but make sure you're pulling everything down as it's going up. Got a gentle prod from Rob. Re, your NDA. Please sign. It's in your inbox staring at you. Reminds me. Thanks for the mail tip. Got the daily feed straight from USPS. Informed delivery. Getting a better idea of what's stacking up. Junk, mostly. 20 minutes with her tomorrow at a club opening for her updated schedule. Something will happen. Something always happens. Nick. Cars, buildings, alleyways, streets, crosswalks, and hotel rooms. My count has 91 shots going up to the server. Three of those are missed rolls, but putting them up anyway. I know how much you like the scraps. 51 clips remaining. Wi-Fi not ideal. Every ninth clip or so, I get an error and I have to restart the upload. Can't doze. Living somewhere in between doze and woke. 28 clips remaining. Would swear we got more elevator footage. Need to ask legal, re-blurring faces and billboards. Counting heads, imagining your workload. Maybe she's somewhere in there. Fuzzy, seven clips remaining. Thinking we can tag team this. You look for the story in the footage and I'll keep an eye out in my dreams. Nick. Perfect. She bailed on the club. Rob didn't get the manager sorry until we got Wi-Fi in the parking lot. Walked through the crowd. Shot the DJ. He seemed to be having a good time. You'll see. Magazine is having it out with the label and management now. They've signed a contract for her to appear, but she has yet to appear. Honest question. Does this person exist? Couldn't help but wonder if she was at the club watching us tool around. I've been playing with some of the clips while the cards drop. There's a tool I saw you use one time. You could stretch out any clip beyond its life without assigning an explicit percentage. You just drag it around, slowing it down, speeding it up. It could do a lot of damage. A new creation to fill a gap in the edit. One of your tricks. Give it up. Have a feeling you'll be stretching to fill. Hoping you've got a tool to conjure her in an empty clip. Kidding. Sort of. Remembering the thing we did for the shoe people at the carnival. Put the model in one of those ultra merry-go-rounds and tried to grab a close-up of the sneakers coming around again and again. What was it? 12 minutes of merry-go-round? Sun went down and model wasn't happy. Couldn't get the close-up. You somehow pulled off some illusion in the edit. 
killed it. Can't remember how you got the shoe on the foot. Anyway, how's the edit? Mech. New folder up on the server. In lieu of an in-person interview, she has recorded voice note answers to my interview questions. Listen to some of it. Heard a glitch in the first one. Who do you think she sounds like? Something uncanny in her canned response to, what made you into music? Our last chance for Honest to Christ footage of this person is now her international debut show tomorrow. They've promised us 15 minutes on the floor. I can see her face now. Think you can squeeze and edit out of voice notes and cars? I spend the rest of the day in the past, writing short emails and long texts to your time zone. Various people are asleep. Various people are not. Had my first real sleep in a week and my first real nightmare in ages. You know the one. A multinational corporation sends a force of deltas to my hotel room. See, we caught something in the footage. Something we weren't supposed to see. They want the cars, and they're total dicks about it. Some global secret sitting on the edge of the frame. If only. I wake up and walk over to the boys' room late in the afternoon and find Rob alone, deep into writing an email with an uncomfortable amount of exclamations. I talk him into letting Mimi take me up and down the elevator of the hotel while I shoot some footage. I told her to punch the second floor, then the 14th. Up and down and up again, hoping to catch something. We fill a card. I drop it. It comes to you. See anything? Burnt the night at a bowling alley. Came hungry. Frank with three strikes in a row. Concert tomorrow. Something will happen. Has to. Nick. Well, what can I say? Not much. Show's over for me. Just beginning for you. Footage going up now. The end of the story. I'll spare you the suspense before I go into the long form. A big nothing question mark. You'll see soon enough. On our own today. Got lost for two hours on the train to the arena. Finally make it and get off to a surreal scene. Hundreds of kids outside. Normally normal, but lose my mind thinking about it. They're lining up for an artist no one has ever seen or heard. Frank not impressed initially, but gates open and it's chaos. They're sprinting to the front. About to lay eyes on the subject at the center of whatever this has been. Whole thing is over in 30 minutes, door to door. Handlers find us wandering around and stick us in a dressing room underground. Tunnels everywhere. Email from manager, who's characteristically nowhere in sight. He hopes we're excited for the show. She's been working hard on it, he says. Our passes get us 15 minutes on the floor, starting now. I'm laughing. Rob is not. We hear a rumble upstairs and Frank takes off, taking me with him via wired monitor. Lights go down, crowd roars, and well, You'll see. Big moment. I try to take it all in through the monitor, scoop up every little piece. I like her shoes. Can't look away. For all the work they've done to conceal her, she truly seems effortless. She's real, I think. No, of course she is. Can't hear a thing next to the speakers. Doing the math trying to match her voice notes to what I hear bouncing off the walls. I realize 14 minutes into our 15 minutes that I haven't looked up from the monitor once, but I pull up my gaze too late. Lights go down and she's disappeared. Handlers are arguing with Frank, pushing him out. I see Rob move in, pointing to the pass around his neck. I see the handlers shaking their heads in the opposite of an affirmation. 
Evidently, our passes don't allow us to actually watch the show. We take the long way out. Frank throws the camera over his shoulder backwards. She disappears in the rear view. Like I said, 30, door to door. Get the email from the manager in the van back to the hotel. Hopes we enjoyed the show. Thinks we got what we needed. So she can't wait to see the film we've made together. Control myself, but feel like jumping out of the moving vehicle. Did we get it? Didn't see her with my own eyes. But the footage tells it. Will the edit? Nick. Heading to the airport in an hour. Saw you on CC, but don't know when Rob added you. So, you've seen at least some of the shit show. A legendary 180 for management, not five hours from that can't wait to see it bit. Concerns with the viability of the piece and how it fits her larger story. Subpar depiction. Different direction. Etc. Skimmed it and ran to the server. They changed the locks. I'm sure you saw. Label is pressing the magazine for all copies of the footage. Attaching our signed NDAs as a flex. Noticed I didn't see your name there among our dumbasses. Not gonna ask. Label sent over a runner to return the gear for us. Was kind enough to take the drives and cards off us too. So, that's that. Is this the finale you had in mind? The piece is dead. I want to say it was ripped from me, but not sure I had it to begin with. What's to mourn about a hypothetical? An almost. Concerns with the viability of the piece and how it fits her larger story. Her larger story. What story? No edit. No profile, no artist, no manager. Nothing but cars, towers, buses, trains, streets, wires, food, venue, hotel, and barely the shadow of a person. No sign of the film at the center of the mystery. If the editor had another finale in mind, I'd have loved to see it. Sorry, Nick. Heading home. See you on the next one. was dead. But Nick had another finale in mind. That's right. The editor is better with finales. Nick has a theory about her larger story. Took an edible, rearranged the pieces, and then a new scene came together. Here's what I'm thinking. Open on the city. Maybe night cityscape. In the beginning, we traveled to Japan to shoot a profile, only to be left with nothing. No artist, no profile, no edit. So, start by asking the question, why did the record label panic? What was it? Where was she? Big questions, big answers. Are you ready for it? See, we caught something in the footage. Some global secret sitting on the edge of the frame. The shadow of a person. Something uncanny and fuzzy. So I glitched into the illusion. Something we weren't supposed to see. Big reveal. She is not of this world. She is this virtual creation of a multinational media conglomerate. 
a shadow conjured by a virtual tool. Something they can control. The perfect delusion. Perfect story. But films are not perfect. Hours of clips. Too much data. Impossible. True control. We were too close. The manager panicked. Label sent over a force of deltas to my hotel room. That's Took the drives and cards off us. And they're total dicks about it. Kill the peace. Secret lives on. Could it be true? Editor thinks so. August 2016. A once print, then video, now nothing magazine commissions a profile for an artist no one has ever seen or heard. The subject of the profile is in her early 20s. The subject is a musician. The subject is about to release her first song on the eve of her first arena show. Her big reveal. She is secret. She is new. I assure you, the subject does not exist. Credits? Need a designer. Make your name huge. Thank you.